Hello everybody, today I'm going to tell you about a project that I have been working on about two years, a very long time, uh, but I haven't had a chance to share it with a total video with you. Uh, this project is about a robot uh, based on Raspberry Pi and doing your houseworks with uh, your voice commands. It takes your voice commands and moves. And it does this with the uh, API called Google Speech and Google Cloud Speech and it works on some fighting code and it's also very uh, homemade. It's based on like storage boxes, power bank, DIY LiPo battery and some DC motors got from internet. Basically this is uh, made from the uh, stuff you can find at home and some basic electronics you can buy from internet. So it's basically a little robot that shows the, the robotics uh, is easy to develop actually. Uh, it's just being uh, with the faith of developing robotics. Uh, and you can develop, start with the basic ones and develop further, uh, just like this one. Uh, this was uh, basically a little uh, useless robot in the first Hello. and it became a very useful robot. Hello. And Hello. now this is showing the, I am controlling it voice commands Activate and asking it mode. some questions. Sentry mode activated. Actually, this was first developed for a school exhibition, a project by me, then developed and more and more. And I attended many science competitions with this. For, uh, as you can see, uh, I'm giving it some comments and it's doing them. As you can see, as you give it comments, it also uh, gives comments to you to, to uh, complete the task you have given it to. Also, Where I'm using you? the clap uh, detection as a trigger. As you can see, also the voices uh, are taken from a computer game called Portal 2 and there's a turret. Uh, those voices uh, are talk as mp3 files and edit this too. And let's talk about the history of this robot. The first version was developed two years ago in April 2016 and it had uh, it was developed for a science uh, school exhibition and it had a four axis robotic arm. It was very simple. It was made out of a chocolate box and used a Raspberry Pi B plus I think. It was very simple. It wasn't voice controlled but at the least you can uh, you was able to control it with just a basic uh, smartphone. And the version 2 was developed in June 2016. I tried a new system here with uh, some tracks. Uh, I used some ball bearings and some bells to do those tracks, but it was a fail actually. It didn't do that well. And I also had some different changes to I replaced that robotic arm with a 2 axis robotic head and added some line following sensors to make it more uh, autonomous. And in version 3, I got rid of those tracks and just did this with wells and had a free moving well in the front. It was DIY too. And the next version, I added a camera to control it remotely and just had a servo in the front. And the other version, I shrunk the wheels because uh, those wheels were not very efficient and I wanted to torque to rise. So that's why I shrunk and this was a little more optimum. And then I just changed that headpiece with the wood, the plywood one. It was looking very nice. And as you can see with this application, I was controlling it with, you know, those uh, steering wheel joystick stuff. As you can see, it's very easily controlled like a toy. Uh, I'm The software I'm using here is uh, a software called from the joystick to USB case strokes. It transfers the commands uh, got from the steering wheel, the buttons, to the case strokes and thus I can uh, through the SSH get uh, raw input from the fighting code and thus control the robot as you can see. I can control the head, I can turn the steering wheel, turn the robot, use pedals to move backwards and forward and as you can see very funny <laughs> and ridiculous I'm using the scratch camera uh, scratch camera uh, option to see it as a FPV kind of stuff. And with other uh, version, I added a robotic arm. 
it's a pretty interesting way to attach it to that robotic arm. I used a wall mount, uh, the plastic thing, to and with some paper clips to attach it to the other servo, that robotic arm. I also tried the robotic gripper uh, to DIY it too, but I couldn't. It was a fail, and I just bought the Spark One Acrobotics robotic uh, gripper. Thus, as you can see, I'm just trying to uh, pick up some little toys to make it. Uh, be more able to do your housework chores like picking up your toy you give it you to give the robot to bring your toy from the other uh, from the other room and it just brings you it does your housework for you as you can see now it's uh, controlled it's remotely controlled but as you can see here uh, it's following the line it's getting more autonomous more and more uh, as it's developing as you can see uh, it's just basically following the line it's pretty slow, but uh, it does the job. And also very uh, complicated codes doing the line following algorithm. I remember I had worked on this hours and hours. It's pretty successful, it doesn't do any wrongs while following the line. It's, it was getting more autonomous in order to be able to do the uh, chores more effectively. And also if it uh, sees a obstacle while it was following the line, it just turns its way around. For example, it checks the, for the appropriate way, left or right, when it sees the obstacle. It detects the obstacle with ultrasonic sensor uh, HCSR04. As you can see, if the other side is uh, not appreciated, it goes to the other way, thus avoids the obstacles. The very simple algorithm to do this, but it works very well for the robots. Uh, it's really a voice. And this version, it was really getting more autonomous. It's just very autonomous. I'm not doing anything, never touching the keyboard controllers. It goes on the, uh, it follows the line and to bring back the cube. It's it's duty given by the uh, first time. I'm just not touching it. It's doing it with itself. It has a duty to bring back the cube. It's If it's of course uh, sees an obstacle, it still waits for it. Because it cannot get over it. I wasn't very... <laughs> it wasn't very that advanced. But it uses computer vision now. That's why it has a camera. It uses the uh, simple CV, a computer vision uh, library, similar to OpenCV, but it's a little more simple. Uh, when it detects the white cube, uh, it goes and grips it with its gripper and just comes back to the line. And now it checks right on left to see the uh, appropriate way to turn back. And it turns back through the help of the line sensors. It detects the line in the backwards and it just turns back. Where This is totally autonomously just bringing your cube from the end of the line. Imagine this end of the line in another room and you're bringing your toy. This is totally autonomous helping to your chores and of course it sees uh, another obstacle stops I could just do this uh, turn go around the obstacle but my programming skills wasn't really uh, enough for that actually and yeah mission accomplished and it just goes back for the next cube bringing next cube it's stuff working like a serial And in this version, March 2017, I added some LEDs to make it more visual. It, there was 10 uh, green LEDs, just every, each of them attached to every each pin of the Raspberry Pi. And just it was just more visual. And this version, I added a speaker to really make its voice controlled and make it speaking. Uh, it, I tried Bluetooth, but Bluetooth didn't work. Then I, had a, I tried to make a new battery. It was... Uh, just some old batteries got from the drone and the speaker I just uh, did them and also DIY a charger too and here in this video I'm really controlling it with Gold Class Switch API as you can see giving comments and uh, with new battery it moves faster of course it's got a uh, USB sound card and attach the microphone and speaker too microphone takes the comments and uses the Gold Class Speech API to uh, interpret them and moves. And here as another mode, I'm using Google Assistant, Manual I can also do this. Space shuttle. 
you can ask it questions like what's the weather like or get information from Wikipedia is like this. I'm asking the, when was the first space shuttle, like it just answers. As you can see, it's your speaker, mic and USB sound card. It's just more natural this way, you can just ask everything, set reminders, do everything that Google Assistant can do. It's basically Google Assistant, kind of Siri thing. Yeah, the weather, it also says the weather, it connects to internet, that's why it's how it does. And in this version, uh, it's version 399, I tried to use stepper motors to make it more like, uh, more precise in movements, but those uh, small stepper motors wasn't enough powerful for the robots. And in this, it is just a design, I tried to design the version 4, this was a whole new aspect to the my robots, uh, the body was a lot more wider to uh, make it uh, fit the speaker and the new true access robotic arm together. I added some LEDs in the front. This was just designed with paint 3D. It's very simple and easy to design. I just used it. And I also wanted to make a more uh, successful battery, more efficient battery. This was the battery just got out from old, battery, old phones like uh, 1000 milliamp and 950 milliamp batteries and in this video in version 4.2 but I didn't uh, move along with the my designs I just changed it uh, completely and from the storage box I seen on the stores I just got them stick them together and it's also four wheel drive now it's got those that's reaction robotic the car too it fits everything this was the most like new design and very successful too and in this I added LEDs and still uh, can, I could control it with uh, every axis of it, robotic and movements, heads, it's got all the same. And of course for the four wheel drive system uh, it's also had a more powerful battery for that. As you can see I can control with joystick again the, with that software and also still the <laughs> portal to third sounds. The soundtrack is awesome, Just I just got it from the internet, it's free and download it, load it with mp3 files as you can see, with every each move it has a uh, background sound from the turret where were you made in? as you can see, I can also ask some questions are you a robot? hello How tall are you? I As you can see with these questions, uh, you can't just, you, do, you just don't control it only, you also have a natural uh, conversation How with this. How old it. are you? In uh, a competition, I uh, shown this robot as a house little helper robot and it was Turn just helping your uh, chores and Turn also left. making you happy with having a natural conversation with you. For the old people, like some old people can't do your can't like do their the houseworks. So this robot was a helper I for them. As you can see, I also added some lights in the front. Light the LEDs. For its camera to see itself, the to see the front. Very bright. Arm up. And you can also the still control. And it gives you backward the robot car I'm going backward to see it's arm backward. Right. Uh, it's a uh, right. feedback as you can see feedback coming look right looking right and yeah this is very simple but maybe in the future if I develop this more and more and get this more advanced this can maybe help some uh, houseworks this is very small I know Activate. like you're gonna say with that smaller body arm, the smaller robot will, will it help Look me how house works? Of course not, but this is just uh, a way to start uh, developing robots to help uh, old people and uh, disabled people to help them Fire. with their house works. Fire. This is uh, pretty, yeah, horror movie like kind of thing, but it's just for fun. And these are the comments and they're 
uh, in their opposition to what to do after those comments, just a line from the comments. And these are some photos from the competitions that I attended with this robot. This is from the Beşlik Kadabilim competition. It was a short video competition and you can see the link here for that video. And this is another Ulusal Tank ve Mentora competition that I also attended. And I have also attended to the Maker Fair Istanbul in 2017 with this robot. It was a very good day. And these are just some uh, detailed pics about the robot. As you can see, it's all homemade. The paper clips, everything, the sensors. These are the line sensors. And the stepper motors, how it's connected to the servo. It's, it's all homemade paper clips and nuts. And these are the LEDs, just attached with some tapes. And the L293D uh, motor drive is controlled with LEDs. As you can see, the sound card, everything is just rest in the robot. It's not exposed out like the previous version. So thank you for watching. This is my project. If you have any ideas or suggestions about, you can just put them down in the comments. It will really help me a lot. Um, planning to develop advance with this project a lot more and just stay creative.